it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all at Berners Street. Uh, it is a first uh, try in a seminar uh, that other organizations have performed very well in the past, and, uh, and uh, we are giving the first try to a seminar uh, to address uh, the issues that uh, affect all the discussions uh, that are taking place at the International Coffee Council here in London. Um, sustainability, obviously, is the key element. Sustainable production of coffee focus on environmental, social, and economic aspects. This is reinforced by Article 36 of the International Coffee Agreement 2007, which refers to the principles and objectives on sustainable development contained in Agenda 21 adopted at the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development and those adopted at the World Summit on Sustainable Development. The organization is working towards promoting sustainable coffee economy by making stakeholders in the coffee sector aware of the threat of sustainability posed by negative economic for producers and proposing measures in areas such as, such as quality, promotion, and diversification to maintain balance in the coffee market. We need a comprehensive plan to tackle all three aspects of sustainability to be implemented by the national coffee authorities and associations in each individual country. I would like to highlight four basic principles. First of all, following sustainable principles is important and can provide con concrete benefits to most stakeholders involved in the coffee business. A second key element for us is that improving productivity should be a key element in any sustainable initiative. This we've been evolving in the last uh, four years and productivity is a key element in our initiatives. Third, farmers need institutional support to obtain appropriate certification. And uh, all methodologies exist to evaluate the various certificate schemes on offer. An important objective of the present International Coffee Agreement is in to encourage members to develop a sustainable coffee sector, like I said, in economic, social, and environmental terms. I welcome you all once again, and the ex especially the experts who have been instrumental in helping us to put together this important very seminar. I would like to pass uh, now to Mr. Conrad Rassi to open the seminar. Thank you very much, Mr. Executive Director. <clears throat> yeah, just to say good morning to everybody uh, once again. Um, it is very good to see the high degree of interest this seminar has generated, not only among ICO member countries and potential member countries, but especially among private coffee associations, representatives from financial institutions, trading houses, as well as other stakeholders uh, with an interest in the global coffee sector. Today, as you know, we will focus on the topic of achieving sustainable supply in the coffee market. And indeed, I think this theme is highly relevant. First, because as the Executive Director uh, has already said, the issue of sustainability is at the very core, not only of the I ICO's missions, mission, but also of the International Coffee Agreement of 2007. <clears throat> and second, as you know much better than me, the global coffee sector faces major challenges when it comes to achieving sustainability in supplies. The sector is also dealing with co considerable volatility in prices, with the ICO composite indicator price jumping from 124 cents per pound at the start of February to 154 cents at the end of the month. 
Just as we struggle to evaluate the severity of the drought experienced in Brazil and its impact on the future supplies. Also, I would like to mention that the outcomes of this seminar will, con will be sub sub subsequently be considered by the ICO member governments during their meetings later this week. And thus, the ideas and proposals put forward by the presenters today uh, will influence and contribute to the development of national and global coffee policies in the future. Finally, just a couple of practical points before we start. As you will have seen from the program, we have nine presentations from our excellent speakers today, and we are very much looking forward to those presentations. The presentations will be given in four different categories, thematic categories. First, global production and trade overview, capitalizing on new trends, new markets and product development. Third would be the price forecast, currency fluctuations and solutions available for managing price volatility. And finally, the fourth uh, category would be supply side outlook. So we will have, after each set of presentations, we will have around 10 to 15 minutes for questions and answers and to debate on the, on the, on the topic presented. And I would encourage delegates and pres um, presenters to keep their interve interventions during questions and answers as short and precise as possible in order to allow for as much interaction as possible. So without further ado, let me wish you all a very interesting seminar today.